Recently picked up this Big Text 5x8 dump trailer, single axle, model 50SR, and today I'm going to put her to the test and see how much she can actually dump. Anybody got a guess of how much cast iron is here? This is all rotors throughout. I'm going to take a wild guess and say I should be pretty close because I've been using this trailer here, the M101A2, to dump cast iron for many years, but I'm going to go... 4,910 pounds. Big question to be answered today though is can this Big Tex dump this load and is it going to handle the extra weight? This has a payload of 3,600 pounds as per that sticker right there and the military trailer has a payload of three-quarter ton or 1,500 pounds. I've been abusing this trailer here heavily for the last five or six years with loads of up to five or six thousand pounds. And it hasn't twisted or broke. I've always been a little worried about the front tongue on this because it's boxed. It looks like maybe one and a half by three channel. You might be saying, why don't you just use this thing as a dump trailer? Because you can modify the, well, you don't even have to modify them. You gotta pull these front pins out up here and then set the parking brakes and back your truck up and dump a load. But I feel like with 4,000 pounds of rotors in there, this thing would twist like a pretzel. Uh, so that's why I got the dump trailer because I got sick of unloading 4,000 pounds of rotors and the tongue on this big tex is pretty heavy duty this looks like you know four or five inch c channel a lot thicker of course it's Chinese steel so who knows if it's gonna hold up to the test both single axle trailers the military ones eight lugs and the big tex is six lug axles on that uh, and then you got same thing with the leaf springs, just, uh, well, these, these leaf springs are shorter and a bigger stack, so that should hold up pretty good. You can see I keep blocks under the back for when it's sitting here, so the load isn't sitting on these leaf springs all the time. But over here on a military trailer, much longer leaf springs, and I guess they look probably a little bit, a little bit less heavy duty, but a lot longer. More suspension travel on this one for sure. Anyway, let's see if the big techs can Get on down the road. I got all these other goodies in the bed too. Lots of aluminum and precious metals I've been collecting. Let's see how these springs look after pulling off the blocks. Uh, yeah, so they drop down a little bit, but they're not. The frame's not touching the axle, so it should be good. Almost there now. Uh, she towed real good down the highway. Nice, straight, and true, even with the extra weight. You might be asking yourself where I got this scrap from. Uh, I go to other shops around my town and other towns as well. I usually pay a dollar a rotor. Right now I'm paying around 50 cents a rotor because scrap's a lot less than what it was before. But uh, yeah, so that's where it all came from. Well, you saw it with your own eyes. She dumped that load no problem. How many pounds do you think it was? I'll tell you what, I was pretty darn close. Here's the slip right here. 4,980 pounds. What did I say? 4,910 pounds. So I was 60 or, uh, I'm sorry, 70 pounds off. Not too bad. We grossed in at 14,080 pounds. And uh, I'd say this is a pretty good trailer. It's got my seal of approval. That was well over its rated payload and it dumped it no problem. Definitely still gonna hold on to the M101A2 because this is a great off-road trailer and awesome for when I'm going out west or uh, bringing a dirt bike somewhere.
it's got excellent ground clearance compared to the the uh, big techs but can't beat the dump trailer especially if you want to save your back which in the past couple of weeks i've been having some lower back pain so that was it was nice to not have to unload 5,000 pounds of rotors like i usually do So I hope this video might have been helpful for anybody that's looking at buying a big text dump trailer. I definitely give it my seal of approval. I think the single axle is a pretty good uh, bang for the buck. Of course, it's a little more dangerous if you have a blowout with a single axle like that. Tire blowout, you got 5,000 pounds on there. That could be a little sketchy. I did bring it up to around 65 miles an hour and she towed nice and straight. No problems. So uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or you found it uh, informative. And comment down below or if you did already, let me know what you thought the weight might have been on those rotors. And uh, yeah, till next time, Chris Brown here. No nonsense, no how.